They say that we're very narrow-minded. But if Jesus truly is the only way to God, does that claim hold, that we are narrow-minded? And I would say, uh, actually, it does. It does hold that we're narrow-minded uh, because the truth is very narrow. And what do I mean by that? I mean, what I mean is that uh, there's a lot of things, a lot of ways of thought that are in error, but the truth is very narrow. So, two plus two, there's a lot of things that that's not. Two plus two is not one. Two plus two is not two. It's not three. It's not five. It's not 17 million. There's a lot of things that two plus two is not. But there's one thing that two plus two is, and that's four. And so the truth itself is very exclusive. It's very narrow. And uh, you might even uh, take that into other spheres of life. If you were to ask, well, where did you and, and Amy on your trip uh, recently to Israel, where did you have a layover? Well, we didn't have a layover in Las Vegas. We didn't have a layover in Amarillo. We didn't have a layover in Vienna, Austria. There's a lot of places we didn't have a layover, but we did in JFK. And so uh, the truth, by its very nature, is very narrow. There's a lot of things that falsehood can be, but the truth is very simple and it's very narrow. And so if Jesus is indeed the only way to God, yes, the claim holds that we're being narrow-minded, and that's because the truth is narrow-minded. 